Here we're going to tie a deceiver. First thing we're going to do is just get our thread started. Then we're going to take it all the way back to the bend of the hook. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a clump of white saddle hackle feathers. I'm just going to kind of twist them together. This will help keep them into one clump. We're going to tie these in. Now depending on what size you want to tie, of course the tails will be longer for the larger fly and shorter for the smaller fly. I think I'm tying a one knot here, so I'm going to make these tails about three to four times the length of the shank of the hook and I'm just going to do a loose wrap and secure these fibers. I'm going to take my thread forward. And I could trim out the excess and just kind of clean it all up. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to tie in a little bit of crystal flash. You can use silver or pearl. I'm going to use a little bit of pearl here. I'm going to use two to three strands. And what we're going to do is we're going to tie these in right on the side of the hook. Put two on one side and two on the other. And I take my thread all the way back to the tail. Trim out the excess. Now I'm going to trim that crystal flash a little bit shorter than the tail. Now the next thing to do is to tie in two strands of flashaboo. Pearl flashaboo. We're going to tie these in longer than the tail on the side of the hook. Two strands on each side. When I trim them, I'm going to trim them a little bit away from the tail. Just like so. Now what a lot of people like to do is cover the body with some sort of material as far as a braid or a silver tinsel or something like that. I skip that. The fish never see it. It's going to be covered up by all our bucktail. So all I do is I just clean everything up and I take my thread to the eye. I'm ready to add some bucktail. First thing we're going to do is we're going to use some white bucktail. We're going to trim off a clump that's about half to three quarters of the diameter of a pencil. I'm going to trim the, the butt ends of them so that they're nice and flush. All I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this in on each side of the hook. I'll kind of roll it to the side. Just like so. Then I'm going to do that on the other side of the hook. Do the same thing. Once I have both of those secure, you can see how I have a nice wide profile, kind of a V shape. Now I'm going to take my colored bucktail, whether it be blue, green, chartreuse, whatever color you're going to tie. I'm going to take a generous clump of that, a little bit thicker than the white that I used, about three quarters the size of a diameter of a pencil. 
I'm going to make this clump a little bit shorter, so I'm just going to kind of measure, measure it out. I'm going to trim the butt ends here. I want this to be a little shorter than the white pieces that I just tied in. There we go. I'm going to tie this in right on top of the shank of the hook. And I'll trim these fibers here. Once you have it tied in, we're going to build up a head. We're going to clean everything up. Try to cover up all these fibers. go. Now we're going to take our whip finish and finish up everything. Now I like to add eyes to my deceiver. So all I'm going to do is just take some 3D pupil eyes here. I'm going to stick them right on the edge of the head right on the edge of the head and the bucktail is what I'm trying to do and right now I'm just trying to stick them in place first Now I'm going to take a little bit of UV fly finish and I'm going to put a splotch of it right on top of them. And I'm going to pinch these two, thing, two uh, eyes together and I'm going to hit it with my light. And that'll stick them in place and I can finish gluing the rest of the head. I'm, all I'm going to do is just coat the entire head and eyes with some UV Not Sense or Fly Finish. Try to overlap the eye a little bit. There we go. All I'm going to do is just as I rotate this, I'm just going to cure it. And this light will set it indoors. But to fully cure it, I'll actually take it outside and lay them in the sun for a few minutes. Once you're cured, you've got a finished deceiver. I'll zoom in here and you can see the a little more of the detail. I like a nice wide profile deceiver, something that's going to push a little water. Something that lets the fish know that it's there. And that's all there is to a deceiver. Fairly easy fly to tie. Works on saltwater fish, pike, bass, stripers. Works on a variety of species.